the guys, I thought, have prepared themselves well up to this point. I think the conditioning piece, we went a little bit longer than we normally do. We got a few more reps in there. So I think the conditioning piece, um, I feel good about that. And then after that, uh, there's a lot of work just with everybody. There's just like a first scrimmage, but not just with the young guys. I think the young guys did a good job as far as what you would expect. They made a few mistakes, some alignments, uh, not communicating the way they need to. And those are expected. Those are correctable, but they did go hard. And then I think our kind of our blue and orange guys, our ones and twos, um, we didn't really come out the way that I think we, we needed to play today as far as just the communication, all the little details, some of these guys that have experience that have been playing, uh, things they've done in the past, it wasn't as consistent as I expected it to be today. So from that standpoint, um, we did go hard, we did, we did tackle, we went live, we got plays, we had some real football, there were some real big plays made out there today, some flashes of guys doing things, which was good to see, but the consistency from some of our veteran players was not there. And to me, that's just, that's a focus is what that is. That's, that's attention to detail and practice and the urgency that you practice with. To me, that's these guys uh, doing something for a long time and doing it the same way and going through an install and then not finding that little detail somewhere in there that's gonna make them just that much better or the consistency they have to play with. And today, that just wasn't it. And our guys know that. You know, some of our veteran players, we talked about it at the end of the scrimmage. So Monday, we have a chance to get back and put our pads on, get practicing again. And our urgency, our effort, our focus, all these coaching points our guys, our coaches have been making with our players, that needs to happen. Because the reality of it is, you're, you're going to play like you practice. And today wasn't good enough. We had to go play a game. Go back to that first practice. You know, those guys, those new players, they don't know what to expect. But they can go out there and they can practice hard. That didn't happen in the first practice. From that day forward, they've gotten better. Today, they, I thought they went hard, but they made the mistakes of maybe a misalignment here, maybe not communicating to the right person on the field. Those things we expect from our young players. What we don't expect from our veteran players are those type of things as well. And you take that stuff for granted, then you go out into a game, playing against somebody else. It's not a scrimmage. It's not, you know, scrimmages are still controlled and we can slow it down, we can do things we need to do. You're not gonna get a chance to do that in the game. Coaches are on the sideline, players are on the field, but we all know how the game goes. And if you don't go out there and practice like that, you don't perform like that when it's time in a scrimmage like this, then we look at it as we got a lot of work to do. And so moving forward, that's exactly where we're at. And I would say as an entire team, we're still improving, but I thought the young players, went out there and played hard today, and the older players, we need to be a lot better. What did you see from the quarterback position? It was, you know, rotating all those guys through. It was okay. They're all, they did some good things. They all did. There wasn't, I didn't see a lot of poor performance. There wasn't turnovers from that position. Uh, there was snaps that really hurt those guys. So you got six, seven bad snaps, and you're trying to get quarterbacks reps, and they're fumbling for the ball and looking for the ball. Uh, that's frustrating because they're trying to get work. We got specific plays, we got a whole plan for these guys, and then we have trouble getting the ball from the center to the quarterback. And you know, so that was a little bit frustrating to see that today. So it took away from some of their reps that they had opportunities to go make plays on. They just had to throw it away and get rid of it. They made good decisions, they did the right thing. That's not what you want in a first scrimmage like this, going out there just testing your decision making on throwaways. We wanted to be better there. As far as their operation, as far as the communication, these guys running the show, they did do well. I think that group, that group has progressed. It's just, it all has to come together at the quarterback position. You gotta have it right. Everybody up front's gotta do their job. Receivers, tailbacks, we've all gotta work together for the quarterback to go out there and look like he's operating the show properly. And that didn't happen today. I mean, we had nine guys playing at a time, eight guys playing at a time, 10 sometimes, 11, just a few times on offense and defensively really the same way. So. That's kind of how the day went. Is Chase still limited, or is he now able to? He, you know, he went today, and those guys weren't live. Quarterbacks aren't live, so he did go through the scrimmage. Uh, at the very end, we had a goal line segment. He did not go during that, so he got he got significant reps today. So he was free to go. We just shut him down towards the end. So we get back into Monday. We'll see where he's at. And at this point now, it's really how he feels. 
you know, we just have to judge off how he feels. But I think at this point, rep-wise, he's ready to go. He practiced oh. fully yesterday. I know you were hoping he would. He did. We were in helmets. Right. Yeah. He, okay. he went. Okay. Yeah, he was going. And the limitations, he still has a set number of reps, but that's practice was condensed, too. So to be fair to him, it kind of fit within the practice. Okay. But today, he took, he took all his reps, and we didn't really change anything until the end of scrimmage. And we've been out there a while. You, you look at, um, how's Hank coming along? I mean, he, uh, uh, it's obviously a big situation to be in as a true freshman, and maybe as the, the game gets a little bit closer, I don't know if pressure begins to mount, but how just has he handled the whole situation and continued to grow? I think he's done a good job. I like Hank. I think he's handled it well. Hank does a good job of preparing himself. He comes out there and I think he practices with urgency. I think he's improving on the things from the day before that he got coached on. So he's very rarely making the same mistake twice. He's making new mistakes, but he's also a freshman. And he does some things that freshmen do. And we're correcting that. The thing to me, when players are young players like him, when you correct it, they fix it, and then they make new mistakes. And we just keep making new mistakes. But the old ones, once it's been corrected, everybody understands, all right, this is what – they might make it again, but they self-correct, and we move forward. But he's been doing that, so he's done a good job. Is it a, is it a good idea <clears throat> from, like, five-person race to three-person or two-person, or how do you kind of start to cut it down? We will a little bit. Yeah, it's hard to answer that right now. I want to go watch what we just did. Uh, before we make an emotional decision, just get in there, watch the film, study it, look at the numbers, what do they do? And at the quarterback position, when you have a guy that's been a starter for so long, all right, he knows what he's doing, a lot of times the guys around him, you're really watching how they affect him. Now you're watching the quarterback and you got to pay attention to the other guys because they're all competing and maybe it didn't look good for him, but this guy next to him didn't do his job. The guy up front didn't do his job. And did he make the right decision? Did he do something that was positive in a negative situation? You also have to look at that, and it, it's, it's hard. But we get into this next week, yeah, we got to start taking that group and focusing on more reps with certain guys so they can start getting into a rhythm with the wide receivers, uh, just the rhythm with the offense, and we're going to have to start progressing that way because that second scrimmage is big. Once you come out of that, you, you got a pretty good idea of your, your team, where, where guys are special teams wise, O and D, and then you start to really hone in on, all right, here's where we're going, and then you get into your first couple games. What were some of the standout plays or the ones that made people, you know, scream or, or get excited to see? Yeah, there's no screaming in this no scream. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Probably no screaming, yeah. right? Just yeah, shouting, none of that. cheering. Uh, yeah, there, there was a few good runs. I, I thought the tailbacks, we had some good runs when we were going live, and we had three or four sacks today. To me, that's big. That's one of the, the keys to being a successful defense. We got good pass rushers, and we got three or four sacks today. That, that's a difference maker, in my opinion. We didn't get any turnovers. Uh, on the goal line, we had a couple scores with the offense, so we did run hard. So I thought a couple of our tailbacks were hitting it downhill. Um, and then early in the, uh, the scrimmage, we weren't doing a live period. But I think the defense was three and out. Maybe the first four or the first three series was three and out. So the first group, the blue and the orange group of the defense, those guys were doing a really good job communicating, getting lined up, making plays. And they just came out. I thought the defense started fast. The offense picked up as the scrimmage went on, but the defense came out and started fast. And maybe they, they kind of went down a little bit and the offense started to pick it up. So it was that back and forth. Is running, you, back, is running back, has anybody separated themselves yet? Or? No, not really. Yeah, I mean, you got your, your guys that have been taking most of the reps. Mahone, Van Buren has been in there. Danny Smith is, is coming back. He's still limited. And he's the one that is limited. We just have to, running back, you're running right. And we got to make sure that his foot is okay before he starts little pounding. George Holani has taken quite a few reps in there. He looks good. And he's picked things up. The thing about George, George can run. George is starting to pick up protection. So he's, he's starting to elevate himself on that list. And then uh, Keegan Duncan, you know, he's, he's improved. He's gotten better. He's running harder. So there were things that I saw tonight from that group that I was impressed with because we've been coaching that. Coach Mark's done a good job of that. So those guys did run the ball hard. We didn't quite get them into a rhythm either. Just like the quarterbacks, you got five guys you're kind of repping. And for us, you want to get down to those two or three, you know, two guys that you can really get rolling. We're just not there yet. George is a guy you've mentioned a couple times. Any other of those new faces that have really caught your eye so far? 
Well, George is one of them. I think uh, J.L. Skinner is another guy on the defensive side. And he's small. Yeah, he's a real little, <laughs> the real little guy. Yeah, he's a real little guy out there. He's, he's definitely done a good job. And I think those two guys right now, and this is not taken away from all the other guys, they're doing really good things. Those guys are in positions to be noticed. But we have offensive linemen that are doing a good job and getting better. I talk to their coaches. We have wide receivers that are doing a good job. We have so many, so it's hard to watch or it's hard to see them get a lot of reps back to back and just the consistency. George with our tailback, with Danny being out, he gets more reps. JL, we got a couple guys at safety that are just sitting right now at practice and kind of in and out. So JL's getting some more reps, so you get a chance to see him a little bit more. And but those two guys have stood out at this point. But all the other guys, what I do like about this freshman class, there is, like any young players, right, when it's kind of snapped to it and you got to go, they do that. And, and you appreciate that. Not anybody's walking around here too cool or, hey, I got it figured out or not having a sense of urgency. They have that. It's just now the repetition of learning those plays, learning the techniques, learning how we do things, and they got to just keep doing it over and over and over. Special teams wise, you got to replace obviously kicker and punter. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what highlight today? All the kickers made the field goals today. There you go. We were 11 for 11. Okay. What was yep. the furthest? You know? uh, what are you doing that? From the 34 yard line, Joel? 51. 51. 51. Ooh, Joel. Okay. Yeah, so I think we're back there. You know, don't quote me on that, Joel. Okay. Might, if it's one yard off, then I, I would be in trouble. Okay. <laughs> it was back a ways. What? And Joel did a good job. Eric did a good job. Our snappers, holders, the whole operation. So the field goal unit today, we worked punt, we didn't do anything live, we didn't do field goal live. We worked punt, we worked kickoff return, we worked punt return. And none of those were live, but we were working those situations. But the field goal was, and we got 11 in there, we were perfect on that. The operation seemed really, uh, really well done uh, as far as time and how we did it. We made our kick, so that was a positive. Is Joel going to be the punter then too, or is there comp what's, what's the competition kind of? Well, you got Gavin. Okay. So Gavin's coming along, Gavin's not there yet. Okay. Joel is punting. Eric and Joel are both kicking. Joel is kickoff, Eric is kickoff. So those guys are sharing those duties a little bit. And Gavin is, he's coming along in punting. Gavin has kicked field goals through camp too. We're, we're utilizing him, but he's punted, he's done kickoffs. But right now, Joel has done the most work and Eric is coming along and really liked how Eric kicked today. He did a good job. We've asked you a lot about Cord's health, but I mean, how, how's he actually looked out there football? He's looked good. He's throwing the ball better. He's gotten progressively better. He's throwing it better. He's moving it better. He's moving better. Uh, he took off today, scrambled on a few runs, like just like he's playing. He just took off just like he's playing. Now I'm back there. I'm the one. I'm blowing the whistle very quick. When he takes off running, now he burst, and I'm not just letting that go. I blow the whistle because that's just not part of the plan yet. And eventually that'll be part of the plan. He takes off and runs, hey, go. By all means. We know what he can do. We watched him. Was it the Troy game last year? Yeah. All right, take off and away he goes, right? And we saw him in the spring game do those things. So he's capable of doing it. Uh, right now we're, we're pulling back on it because our plan said this is what we want to do and, and we feel good about where he's at. We're going to stick to it. And that's how practice has gone for him. But he's, he's been cutting it loose and he's been getting better.